We all want the best for our babies. At Little Saints Academy, we're not your typical daycare. Our strong Abeka and High Scopes curriculum help our children learn to read at a fast and efficient rate. In fact, our four to five year olds will be readers and be prepared to pass the Mississippi Kindergarten Test. For applications and admission questions, please visit gbtchurch.org. Little Saints Academy, 1411 Robinson Street. It's daycare, not just play care. Today on Victorious Living. I want to tell you something. If you are all right with Dr. Holy Ghost, you'll never get it. But when you get to the point, hallelujah, where you are actually, amen, having your worst time without him, you're ready for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me, the, the reason, amen, somebody hadn't received it yet, amen, you ain't been wounded bad enough. Hallelujah. And, and, and the one way that you know that you are actually getting the desire that you really want it because you're losing your appetite for the world. Hallelujah. This is Victorious Living from the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church based in Jackson, Mississippi, comes this edition of Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Fortson. I'm going to take the remaining time to speak to you today. And I want to speak to particularly to those that wanted the greatest gift that ever been given and that is the Holy Ghost. I want to speak. Bishop Clifton Jones said something to me, uh, well, said something, I think, to the congregation one time. He said, if you want somebody to catch it, then teach it. And also, I think it was one Saturday morning, he called me, and I answered the phone, and he called me, he encouraged me to really spend quality time in God's word because it's the word that's going to form the lives of the people and change them. Hallelujah. And everybody here now that haven't received the Holy Ghost yet, I want you to stand. Uh, you know, come on, if you're here today and you had not received it yet, let me tell you this. You're not a bad person because you've not gotten it. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody had to receive it at some point. Hallelujah. You just ain't got it yet. Hallelujah. And, 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 and I know that maybe we got 50 or so, but I'm, I'm sure that uh, and, and on a good day, there may be 150 or more that actually may be here that in need of it. I want you to know as you be seated that God got it for you. He wants you to have it. Hallelujah. Amen. And um, so we want to talk with you today, amen, uh, concerning the Holy Ghost. We're going to, our, our, our base scripture lesson come from John, the 20th chapter. And of course now, um, Sister Martin, uh, she kind of primarily uh, somewhat responsible for this message, and even though uh, she said, Pastor, uh, you know, it, it, it more or less people that works at the altar, work with people that are seeking, uh, and, and other in the church at large, that got to be active in helping people to understand what they're missing when they don't have the Holy Ghost. Some people take life too casual without it, hallelujah, and they don't know that what they're missing, not having it. And the door is not always going to be open. It's going to close one day. And if you miss the Holy Ghost, amen, you're going to miss out on eternity. And I want you to know that's a great loss. And you don't want that to happen. Hallelujah. So Acts, the, I mean, uh, in uh, John 20 chapter, and we're going to begin reading with verse 20. Uh, notice what it say here. It says, 
And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his, and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sin ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sin ye retain, they are retained. Thank you very much. Our subject today, coming from this passage of scripture, is simpler. <laughs> Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. The wind is blowing, you all. I said the Pentecostal wind is blowing. Hallelujah. Today, I want to start our message from the conversation that Jesus had with Nicodemus. Hallelujah. Brother Evan, the third chapter in verse 1 is such a simple message. But it needs to be spiritually designed. I want you all to understand that when Jesus came to this world, he didn't come to establish this world. He came in a dark world in order to establish his kingdom in the world. Amen. And I have already made it clear that the kingdom of God is going to be within us. Hallelujah. Those that are baptized in Jesus' name and have the Holy Ghost, we are the New Testament tabernacle. In the Old Testament, the rectangle box where the ark, where the law was kept, represented the presence of God. But in the church, amen, of the uh, newborn, the church of, the, the, of Zion, in the kingdom of God that's in the world today, it is us that represent, amen, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're the art, you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you this. The Bible let us know that the Lord promised to come back. And when he come back, he needs a place to stay. He needs a dwelling place. Hallelujah. And so what he does, he looks around and see who heart is where it needs to be in order that he can get into that person. Hallelujah. And he gets in that person, hallelujah, and that person becomes a new creature. Hallelujah. Amen. Old things pass away, and behold, all things become new. But I want you to know that he really wants to get in you. But now, he's not going to get in you if you don't want him to come. Hallelujah. He's not going to get in you if you're not hungry and thirsty for him. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. If you are all right without the Holy Ghost, you'll never get it. But when you get to the point, hallelujah, where you are actually, amen, having your worst time without him, you're ready for it. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Amen. Let me, the, the reason, amen, somebody hadn't received it yet, amen, you ain't been wounded bad enough. Hallelujah. And, and, and the one way that you know that you are actually getting the desire that you really want it because you losing your appetite for the world. Hallelujah. You're losing your appetite for the world. The, the club don't satisfy you no more. Hallelujah. I, I'm going to tell you something. Amen. The marijuana don't satisfy you no more. You, you, you ain't concerned about getting drunk no more. Hallelujah. You don't even, amen, you don't even find, amen, sex being a whole lot of thrill no more. Hallelujah. Because you want the real thing. Hallelujah. And I want you to know, nothing satisfied like the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it's something special, you all. It's something wonderful. It's not anything casual. And I know that we took time today and we talked about some other things and we actually introduce some other things and we don't have as much time to talk today as we usually have but this is the beginning hallelujah I, I want us to know that as parents and also as uh, disciples of Jesus Christ it is our responsibility to set an environment that is conducive to people getting saved hallelujah it's our responsibility, hallelujah, amen, and uh, not only to uh, uh, set the environment conducive to getting saved, it's our responsibility to disciple them, to go after them, hallelujah. We can't force and make anybody get saved, hallelujah, but we sure can make the invitation. And not only make the invitation, we can put Jesus on display. Don't you know sometime, hallelujah, amen, there are things that you bought you never would have bought it if you didn't see it in the window. Hallelujah, amen. I heard somebody testify, amen. When he started doing what God told him to do, and his wife is not saved yet, when she saw how he was being blessed, she started doing it as well. I want you to know, hallelujah, when God pick us up and turn us around, amen, and give us a new life, amen, people will see that and they will inquire, they will ask you, amen, what happened to you? How did this all come about? Tell them, say, I went to church one day and my heart wasn't right and something got a hold of me, hallelujah. 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 So, some, sometime I used, when I first got saved, I used to go back home and I see all my road dog and everything that they was doing. Amen. And they know that I wasn't doing it no doing it. Amen. They said, Robert, what happened? What happened? What changed you? Hallelujah. And they don't know. They would just open up the door for a testimony. Hallelujah. I told them it is the Holy Ghost that are keeping me. It's the Holy Ghost that changed me. Hallelujah. Just think about hallelujah where we would be today if it hadn't been for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Look, you ain't no better than your role, dog. Y'all was doing the same thing. You would have had AIDS just like he got AIDS. No doubt that you may have been with the same person, but the mercy of God. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tried marijuana. I tried acid. But God didn't let me get the addiction. I used to steal my daddy's cigarette and my mama snuffed too. But God kept me. There was things that I should have done, but I only have three sons by marriage. God kept me.
Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank him for the Holy Ghost. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody need to know that. I knew her before I got before she got the Holy Ghost, but I had it. Thank God. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. It. We used to work together in a marketing group, and I was saved, and Margaret wasn't saved, and she perhaps thought that I was doing the same thing all the other salesmen was doing. Y'all understand what I mean? So she took a distant interest in me and Larry Lindsay. Hallelujah, because we used to work there. But I'm going to tell you what it got her. It got her to Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, baptized in Jesus' name, and filled up with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! You can't let the world lead you. You got to lead the world. Somebody else I knew before I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. But instead of me being led, hallelujah, God did the leading. Hallelujah. And how long that been ago? Many years. Many, many years, but look at her now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost will make sure you keep the right mind. Even in time when people got nothing but the wrong mind. That's what I like about the Holy Ghost. It is wonderful. Hallelujah. Everybody here that got saved from the Jackson State, amen, through the Jackson State Campus Ministry, I want you to stand. Everybody that got saved through the Jackson State Campus Ministry, look at people. Hallelujah. Amen. That are Still here. Hallelujah. Amen. It's something about the Holy Ghost, you all. I'm just giving an introduction now. And I won't have time to, amen, to cover today, Brother Fessel. But I just want to give an introduction to it. It's something about the Holy Ghost. God wants you to have it. Jesus died in order to make it possible for you to receive it. Hallelujah. And I want to make this clear. The Holy Ghost is not a it. It's a he. It's a person. There's a real person on the inside. So I have concluded that I am human and divine. Hallelujah. I'm human because my daddy is Henry, my, my, my natural daddy is Bit Fortune, and, Lou, and my natural mother is Lou Fortune, but I'm divine because on the inside, I got Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you know what he said in Matthew 28? He said, I will never leave you. I'm going to be with you until the end of the world. Everywhere I go, God is with me. Every problem I face, God is with me. If sickness in my body, amen, I tell God, your body got a sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I supply all your needs according to my riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We're not substandard. We're the real thing. 
We the kingdom of God. Because of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I know I got you in John, but look at uh, Romans 8 and 10. Hallelujah. I hadn't started teaching yet, y'all. I hadn't started teaching yet. But look at this verse here. And if Christ be in you. If Jesus is in you, if you got the Holy Ghost. The body is dead. Then you have, you are dead. Because of sin. Because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Now, let me tell y'all this. Physically, you're not dead. You can come back alive if you go back to sin. But I told you before, once I got saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, I wrestled all night working at the Jackson Hilton Hotel. At that time, it was the Jackson Hilton Hotel because I was waiting on a young lady that came from somewhere uh, down on the coast to get examined for Uncle Sam Armin. She was 18 years old. And she was kind of timid and needed somebody to show her around. You know what I'm talking about. So after serving her at the table, amen, I made sure she understood how to get to her room. But I was saved. Just had got saved. I mean, within a week or so, and all night, amen, I was wrestling with my flesh. Every time I tried to rise up and make something happen, I was so condemned. And I didn't quite understand, amen, why, amen, would a 21-year-old uh, man be feeling like I'm feeling so condemned, hallelujah. Every time, hallelujah, amen, uh, I look like something getting to happen, amen, I felt so condemned. I want y'all to know the Holy Ghost will make a difference. So what I did, I went and got Larry Lynn's. I said, Larry, I said, when you get the Holy Ghost, do you have sex? Larry said, no. I said, now I know what's wrong. Hallelujah. I'm a new creature. The Holy Ghost is in me. Jesus is in me. Hallelujah. And he lead me to do the right thing. But the flesh is fighting to do the wrong thing. Now, you that are saved, hallelujah, you know that whenever you do wrong, you're going against the grain. And, and as a result of you doing wrong, hallelujah, you are walking in condemnation. And, it's, and life is not enjoyable now as it was before you got saved because God is unhappy that's in you and your flesh, amen, is happy. And God had a way of letting you know every now and then, hallelujah, he got a way of bringing condemnation upon you. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I want you to understand that God let us know in that same passage of Scripture that Brother Irvin is reading from. That without the Holy Ghost, it is impossible to please God. You ain't going to satisfy him if you don't have it. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you something else, you all. If you're able to go and sin and do things and it don't bother you, you probably ain't got the Holy Ghost. If you can practice sin and live in sin and you okay with that, amen, you need to check, amen, see whether you got it or not. You need to take your car to the shop and do a diagnostic test. Hallelujah. You never enjoy the world like you enjoyed before you got saved. The Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. 
It's hard to live a sinner when you've been saved. Hallelujah. You ain't happy. You ain't pleased with yourself. You are miserable because you're not pleasing the God that's on the inside of you. I know what's going on. Sometimes when saints, amen, they get a little too close to the edge or they have a little stumble, hallelujah, amen. I know what's going on. I understand that. You are hurt. You're let down. You're disappointed, hallelujah, because of what you have done, what you have said, the action that you have taken, and you're supposed to be. Hallelujah. You can't be pleased living wrong when you, amen, got God on the inside. Hallelujah. You ought to be happy today, y'all. Anybody glad for the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me cover this passage of scripture and we'll call it quit for today hallelujah amen but I really wanted to get into the depths of it and I honestly feel that when you receive God's word it's going to make a difference in your life for you that have not received it Hallelujah. I'm going to say this. This is what Jesus said. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. Hallelujah. When you get to the point where your love for Jesus is greater than the love for the world. He's going to come where you are. I got a passage of scripture to back me up on that. The only reason he had made it where you are is because you have not sent him from your heart what he's looking for. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like a copy of today's message, need prayer, or have questions about receiving Christ in your life, give us a call at 601-354-2599 or visit our website at gbtchurch.org. Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Forkson is brought to you by the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, Jackson, Mississippi. We all want the best for our babies. At Little Saints Academy, we're not your typical daycare. Our strong Abeka and High Scopes curriculum help our children learn to read at a fast and efficient rate. In fact, our four to five year olds will be readers and be prepared to pass the Mississippi Kindergarten Test. For applications and admission questions, please visit gbtchurch.org. Little Saints Academy, 1411 Robinson Street. It's daycare, not just play care. 601-357-1111.